afternoon, Chosen! Good afternoon, Massachusetts! Okay, come on now. Give me some love. Good afternoon, Chosen! Good afternoon, Massachusetts! All right, first and foremost, thank you for what you do on a daily basis. I will tell every group that I talk to. In fact, I just got done with the Chiefs mess and I told them that. You have to understand that leadership from E1 to O10. Got to understand the relevance and what you do on a daily basis. Okay, so thank you for what you do. Thank you for wearing the cloth of our nation. Uh, only 1% of us have raised their hands. So thank you for that also. Hey, 30 years in the Navy, right? Uh, got a lot of gray hair. I'm okay with that and I'm 50 years old. So uh, the beauty of it is I love what I do on a daily basis. Um, it's an operational command and it's taking care of sailors, right? At the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's, uh, I like to call it the care and the feeding of our sailors, but most importantly, you understand why you're relevant to the Navy and what you bring to the fight, right? Because everyone in here has something to bring to the fight, okay? So uh, I'm gonna just stop there and uh, open it up for questions. Who's got questions? Uh-oh, tell me who you are. My name is Stephen Mallor from Kapolei, Hawaii. You're home. I'm home. Okay. My question is, with the new maternity policy, that include mothers and or fathers that adopt children. Okay, so the question was, does the new maternity policy cover mothers, fathers that adopt children? Okay, the answer is right now, not. However, comma, that they're looking into it. So there's actually a group that's doing what I would call a deep dive into checking, or not checking out, but more importantly, looking into including the, the sailors that adopt children. So great question. All right, anybody else? Ellis, where are you from? I know a couple Ellis's. Good afternoon, Steve. Actually. Good afternoon, buddy. I'm from uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. Ah. I'm part of the admin department here on the USS. Are you a YN? I am. Oh, YN. so I'm an old YN CM by trade, so I, you know, I love my YNs. And where's the PS? Is out in the crowd? You got any? All right, who ya? All right. My question is in regards to OTEP. Sailors that choose option B, that want the 30 days consecutive leave, yeah. they often don't have time to take this. Yeah. So what can be done about it? So uh, option B, 30 days. Who would like to take 30 days at one crack? I'll raise my hand too, right? All of us do, right? There's actually option A, B, and option C, but we all seem to go to option B. I think because it's sexier, right? 30 days leave, get to go home, or go do what you want to do. So if you kind of understand Big Navy, um, we've kind of curtailed how many days you can carry over every year, right? So at the end of the year, you can only carry what? How many days can you carry over? 60 days. Anybody know what it used to be? 90. Who, anybody else? 75. 75. Well, we know it's more than 60, right? So at the end of the day, think about us. Big Navy already curtailed to 60 days, and it's kind of hard to give you 30, right? And if you're considered overseas, can we let a whole bunch of sailors go from one command? Or is there a specific percentage? Percentage, right? So here's what I tell you. Option B is sexy. And sometimes the skipper not, might not be able to give you the whole chunk. So I ask you to look at what option A is and option C, okay? But option B, I hear you, it's, it's sexy. Thanks for the question, Ellis. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Seema Berry from Richmond, Virginia. Okay, My what's question, your rate? Where do you work at? I'm undesignated. Undesignated. Are you, okay. Are you working in deck? Where do you yes. work at? Deck? Okay. Oh, yeah. My question is in regards to, um, when will we be receiving the lightweight NWUs? Lightweight NWUs. How many feel that this uniform is heavy? Yeah, July next year. All right. It's going to be on the, sh the shelves at the NEX. That's what they're telling us. Um, I will tell you right now, it's hot. Um, I just came from Virginia. It was hot there. It is scorching here. Okay. So. July 16th on, a shel on the NEX shelves, okay? Hey, are you guys excited for him? Can I get a, a, a big hoo-yah? Hoo-yah! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Manalo, where are you from? Uh, Long Beach, California, Massachusetts. California. What do you think of the weather out here? Same as always. Same? Does it rain more here than California? Yes, it does. It does, it yeah. Is. is it more humid here than California? As of now, it's the same. Same? Okay, what do you got for me, buddy? Uh, my question is in regards to transgenders. Transgenders. Yes. Uh, recently, there has been an issue with transgenders being discharged out of the Navy. I'll yeah. What's your opinion or your acting to those who, who he isn't or going to be transgender?
Okay, so kind of like the adoptive uh, leave for sailors that adopt. So right now, we are no longer separating sailors that are transgender, right? So that has stopped. And they, they have taken a group to do a big deep dive into the transgender and how we've separated sailors. Some will ask the question whether or not we're gonna bring them back in. And I, I can't answer that piece, but what I can tell you is Big Navy understands um, that we have separated sailors and that um, we've stopped it and we're gonna do a deep dive on it. So, um, you know, I'm all about inclusive, right? It's about inclusiveness for sailors, okay? Thank you, Manalo, I appreciate it. Stephen Scroggs from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hi, Scroggs. Are you a, what's your, what's your favorite uh, football team? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say the Bears, right? The Bears? <laughs> okay, who is it? Green Bay Packers. Packers, all right. Any Bears fans? I gotta ignore them a second. Any Bears fans? Okay, who ya? Yeah? All right. Uh, I had a question about the undesignated semen program. And, yeah. Uh, what's being done or if it could be restructured in any way to ensure more people get rates or to see if people who uh, miss the rates because of their year group get picked up in any way or anything like that. So can I get a show of hand how many pack sailors? We got a lot of pack sailors. Where's the master chief? How many, how many do we have? Fifteen or so. How do you guys feel about being a pack sailor? <laughs> exactly what I thought I'd hear. Crickets, right? Hey, so, um, you know, the pack sailor, we're, we are looking into the year group, where we fall into year groups and, and getting you guys different jobs. Uh, but more importantly, um, you know, we are going down the path to find the resolution on how to, I won't say fix because it's not an issue, but to help get you guys through the pack into a rate and uh, out into becoming a third class, second class, first class, chief, senior chief, master chief, and the whole nine yards, okay? Thanks for your question. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you got for me? You my look question, serious, you look uh, really question, serious. I plan on getting married sometime next year. You do? So my question deals with uh, spouses. Yeah. Is there funding available for spouses to further their education? Like there are, degrees there, there are, um, so there, there are some out there. There's also, um, and I'm, I'm not, you know, saying, uh, that there's a lot of groups that are out there that will help family members with their education. It's just a matter of getting online and finding them. So the one-stop shop place I would tell you to go is to the Navy College and see what they have. Okay, you're welcome. What do we got? I actually have a question regarding, uh, in regards to COLA. Um, is there an increase in COLA in the Navy? Oh, what do you guys think about COLA? <laughs> we wish we had more? Yes. Yeah. So I came from Norfolk. There's no COLA in Norfolk, right? So everybody that's like stateside, they have no idea. I won't say have no idea, but when they hear COLA, they're like, oh, well, you guys get COLA. What are you complaining about, right? Um, so COLA's looked at every three years, right? And my understanding, because I've been here like almost 60 days, is that the COLA has decreased. Um, so every, every three years, they, they do a COLA, and then sometimes it can increase, and sometimes it can decrease. Um, so are they looking into it? it it's a three-year process, okay? Here's what I offer to you though, when that COLA survey comes back out, you guys really need to do that survey and take time to do the survey, but more importantly, you need to explain the economy's money, right? Thank you, Manrique, Manrique thank you. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. Please take care of each other, all right? Because if you don't take care of your shipmates, if not you, then who? right? The next uh, couple months are, are hard. There's an in-serve in there, right? You guys will make it happen, all right? You got to believe in yourself. Your chiefs believe in you. Your skipper believes in you. The wardroom believes in you. You guys will deliver, okay? But you take care of each other in this room, all right? Hope this was worth your time. So can I get a hoo on the count of three? One, two, three. Hoo-yah! All right, thanks, Chosen. All right.